Hello, and welcome back to another pre-recorded episode of Magic Maker. I'm having a bit of an off day in terms of luck. <laughs> As you may know, uh, people who've watched the channel for a little bit, I've, I play Nuclear Throne in addition to Magic Maker and a couple other games. And I've just been bombing it on luck lately. I have no idea what's going on. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, I think I'll uh, just play some, record some Magic Maker instead. Gabe's not quite as luck-based. I'm not going to say Nuclear Throne is entirely luck-based, but RNG can screw with you pretty hard in that game. Now, I actually realized um, the Kenshiro spell, as I was dubbing it, um, wasn't doing anything with the coin because uh, it was an enchantment. And as an enchantment, it wouldn't actually do any damage. So, I'm going to make it a regular, um, what do you call it, a regular spell. Or, well, I'm going to do it on a wand. Because I just want this to, to be like my auto shot. Now, I'm going to use, I'm using the, the sundial, as you can see. Hmm, actually, it's curious. Um, yeah, I'm using the sundial because I'm also trying to do a little experimenting with the haste effect. So let's see, I wanted the coin because I wanted people to explode when they die. And they're going to get punched a lot before they do. Um... Yeah, it's only doing two damage up front. I don't know, maybe. Maybe it'll work. Eight shots a second. What's that look like? Pretty good. Now let me just put this on so I don't kick myself across the campus. There we go. I've also gone and forgotten my, my timer, so you're going to hear a bit of bed shuffling. Apologies. Nothing too out of the ordinary on this. Gonna hear some beeping and booping. It's all good. Okay. Timer is on. <laughs> uh, now. Let us see how this performs against the target. At 100 hit points. Seems to do pretty well. I'm still not noticing the coin a whole lot, though. Maybe it'll be easier to tell with a... Uh, maybe it'll be easier to tell with a target that is... Um, or more clustered targets than the training dummies. Uh, although I can kind of artificially cluster them a little bit. Yeah, they're all dying individually. That doesn't... that doesn't bode well. Not sure what's going on. Curses on hit, curse grows stronger with each hit. Curse targets explode on death. Every third hit on a target deals bonus damage. Okay, well... Yeah, I almost need... yeah, I almost need a, um... I need, like, an actual target to test this. Uh, okay, so set up the robe. Set up the robe. Fortunately, I'm only going to have three jumps, but that's fine. Don't know if I need the healing synergy right now. Having 200 life doesn't hurt, though. Uh, 200 life, and... Wondered life and what? Yeah, double healing. That's not bad. Double healing. I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna hit the desert. Hit the desert up. Seems to be my default testing grounds. Free play associates. Uh... Yeah, just no modifiers. Just testing the wand. Let's see how it works. I got it in my head to do a melee spec today, too. Like, all the spells are melee. They all do different things. I don't know. Think about it. 
See if this wand for works first. It's certainly doing a whole lot of punching. Doesn't look like it's doing the curse, though. Ah! Get, let go. Four hundred. Yeah, I don't have any overhealing though, so half of that was wasted. Oh well. Does mean I only have to pick up like five of the little red crystals to get all my life back, so yeah, it's gonna be a twenty. So that's pretty good. Hmm. It just says on death. But like it should totally be causing Yeah, it should be causing an explosion. What's going on? I'm very confused. Does the effect not does the effect like broken? Like mechanically it just doesn't work? Hmm. I am kinda digging this like just rapid fire Daka 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 spell though. It's kinda neat. Because of the cursed I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna see if done dying back to work. My job gets me killed all the time. Anyway. Oh yeah, secret tunnel. Not a big deal. It saves you like all of a few seconds going from, say, if you're at the alchemy lab and want to go to the desert. I want to see what this is like if I do it on a spell. Now it's gonna guzzle mana like you wouldn't believe, but we'll see. So, it's a punch spell. It's a cursed spell. It's a haste spell. And it shoots a little faster. You see, now I'm getting... There's like a explosion effect that's coming off of them now. Only well, the spell is not sustainable because I have no mana. Um, gonna do that trick then. Gonna do that trick with... A mana shield. And making it a soul contract spell. So that the mana shield eats the soul contract spell. If I can just... Can you just boot over there for a little bit? Yeah, the, uh... Okay, well, it's th they're getting one shot, so I need to make them at least 1,000 points. Come on. Come on. Okay. Now... Okay, so I am getting the cursed coin effect. I don't know why I'm not getting it on the wand, though. That is so very bizarre. Like, I'm just gonna, like, straight up put the coin on a spell. That's what gives, yeah, that's what gives you the pentagrams. Which is kind of cool. Now, push you guys over like that. Make you smaller first, though, because it's gonna take forever. It's gonna take forever with doing only 10 damage. Now this should make him explode. It's the intent of the spell. Okay, so it does do something. I don't know why it wasn't working in the levels. Or maybe it wasn't, I just wasn't noticing. Like things were dying too fast for the stacks to apply? I don't know. Maybe it's even the order you put the components in. <sighs> or like you can't build up fist. You can't build up fist stacks on a target at the same time as you build up the coin stacks? Possibility. I don't see why they do it like that, though, other than just an oversight, which, you know, I'm not going to put it past them. 
Although I'm now shooting smoking green fists. Which is kind of awesome. Come on. Yeah, see? That didn't do anything. Yeah, so I can't do the fists. Yeah, I can't do the fists and the coin at the same time. That's so dumb. Well, okay, so I can't use the... So the wand spell is going to have to be something different then. Because I don't... Because I... Oh. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what I want to do. Well, I suppose... I can set up for the melee build. I can set up for the melee build. So they're all melee. Why are they doing all that red stuff around them? Is that just the secondary visual of the Ninja Blade? Probably. 180, 180, 180, 180. Also, I need to get my little dude a belt. His vest keeps flying open when he jumps. Yeah, it's because that's also the secondary visual. So I can turn that off. And it'll only show the knife. Or the big old sword. Okay. That works better. Now I need to kind of figure out what works with the melee. First and foremost. Because I'm not entirely sure. Like, it's not one I fooled around with a lot. Um... Hmm... Well, obviously piercing works. What does bouncing do, if anything? Oh. It does make the sword bounce out a bit, which is interesting. Okay. I'm not going to try everything, because, like, I mean, some of these are obvious. Like, that'll make it hit people and do more damage. Although that one's not obvious. What the hell does that do, if anything? Probably doesn't have enough time to wiggle out of control. You know, the way the Chaos Butterfly is supposed to, to get damage. Yeah, it's not gonna... That's not gonna work. Okay, so that doesn't work. Uh, homing doesn't really work because it doesn't move anywhere. Uh, that's just Mana Steel. Well, it's interesting how that's... Until rank B, it doesn't actually add a mana cost to your wand. Another use for low-level materials. Who'd have thunk it? Okay, that's obvious. How does that work? So just, does that, have I successfully figured out how to make a cleaving weapon? Because that's kind of cool. Yeah, and it seems to be focused on me, the explosion. That's interesting. I can get you, gentlemen. Yeah, that's interesting. So I have like a cleaving effect. It's kind of cool. Uh, explosion... How does that work? Essence of Monday. Uh, what? <laughs> first of all, it's flying at the enemy hilt first. Uh, also, it's not staying in melee range. It's actually flying off. Only very shortly. What the hell have I created? <laughs> Pardon the language, but, like, okay, I gotta try this as a spell now. This will be more noticeable effect. I was gonna do this trick. And the seashell? Yeah, because that's usually what you do with... That's usually what you do with the rain cloud. So, bleh. No, this one. Bleh. Oh, that is trippy. Just... <laughs> what? Okay, that is very strange, and I love it. Okay, that's going to be one of my spells, I think. <laughs> it's not really a melee attack, but it freaking does work. Discord Blade. Yeah, that sounds about right. Now, I'm going to have a bit of life gain, I think. I'm going to make like a li just like a lifesteal sword. I don't know if I'll make it cost life, though. Make a crit. There's an idea. 45% of the time it does triple damage. Sounds pretty good to me. Now, what to do with the wand? Actually, I think I know what to do with the wand. I know what to do with the wand. 
We can do this. So it does more damage, so it, or more people get hit by it. Do that. Do... Uh, what was the other effect? I, because I, I, this is one of the things I fooled around in my, my spare time. Um, is there's a way to make a sort of, sort of make like a shockwave sword hit. I think this was it. You, just, you make like a sword that travels along the ground. Pew. Pew, pew. Is that not adding the caustic ichor? Okay, it looks like only the melee hit adds the caustic ichor, so that actually should be replaced with something else. Um. Unfortunately. Ah. Uh, yeah, let's make it. Actually, that totally reminds me of um, one of the Torrent Chieftain's abilities in Warcraft 3. Was it the shock? No, the shock. I think his like one of his moves was basically shockwave in front of him that slowed people. Although I might be thinking like the Warcraft 3 map edited version of Dota. I might be. Uh, okay, so robe effect. I needed to... Uh, healing synergy... Overhealing? Yes, overhealing. When in doubt. And I'm not going to need that, because I'm not rapid-firing, so I can get double jumps again. Because double jumps are good. <sighs> going to switch out the Heart Seeker, because we've been using that a lot lately. Uh... Yeah, Coach's Stopwatch. Because we're going to be in melee a lot. I figure we might as well have triple invulnerability frames. So, Desert 4... Oh no, but that's not going to give us a plot upgrade. That's not going to give us an upgrade, is it? So, yeah, I think we'll have to go to the Ice Caves, because I don't want to change these spells up. So, Because like, I would need to put a Prism Chummy there. And if I wanted to... Uh, what is it? If I wanted to go to the Temple, I'd probably want to get make like a... Make a spell that... Um, uh, what do you call it? Make a spell that uh, teleports me around a lot. So, we're gonna go to the ice caves. Cavern zone, whatever. Same diff. <laughs> Just keeping track of my time. Oof, already 16 minutes in. Find the ancient MacGuffin crystals. Slap, slap all the walls and you'll find them. Double clicking material on a spawn component. Oh, well that's interesting. I didn't actually know that. So far, so good. Why do they do one damage? There we go. My janky, weird-ass sword. So this is an interesting setup. Probably not ideal in any way. Certainly be... Although I've... I love stumbling on that weird-ass synergy with the uh, Essence of Monday. The fact that it makes the spell not a melee spell anymore, basically. I mean, it's still very short range compared to an actual projectile, but... Um, oh, shoot. I was, he was too close to it. You gotta give it some time to wind up. Discord blade does not work immediately. It's got to have its morning coffee first. And this is definitely a, a spell, well, at least in this area, that would really benefit from wall piercing and... Maybe homing? Yeah, because homing would kind of counteract the, like, jittering spasminess being caused by the... Ah, oh, shit. Being caused by the uh, Chaos Butterfly, you know, just doing its thing. I don't know. Maybe. Eh, there we go. And I've got a nice, you know, reliable, just smack people in the face kind of hit spell. 
Oh yeah, and since... <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Since... Oh crap, I'm out of... Why can't I cast it? I thought I made that a health spell. I guess I didn't. Shit. Oh, get in there. No! They, there's two of them, that's why they're taking all my mana before I get a chance to cast anything. Okay, so try to get in range of only one of them. Chop it down and then get his friend. Nope. Uh, yeah, there we go. No. Oh, crap, I'm out of mana. I'm out of mana! Everywhere you want to be as a wizard. I almost think I should have made this, like, crawling sword spell. I, uh... I should have made this one one of my spells instead of... my wand. Oh, well. It's a good opening move. You can, like, set up everybody and then... go bleh. And then just... Shing, everybody gets chopped up in the room. <laughs> Yeah, I, I kind of read up about the um, the synergy between uh, the Chaos Butterfly and the Essence of Monday. And it's definitely interesting, and I, I, I really hope it's the kind of thing that sticks around. Because even though it seems exploitive, because it's kind of counteracting the entire point of the Chaos Butterfly, that your spell becomes really unreliable, but it becomes really powerful, because it's just pure chaos. Um, but... Um, at the same time, it's kind of like part of the system. You're supposed to find ways to overcome the shortcomings of the spells and get nothing but fat benefit out of them. You know, like, like kind of basic. Like, I have to admit, I'm not exactly blowing the doors off anything when I, you know, suggest make a spell that costs health and then makes it make it steal health. You know, like, I might be. Uh, I'm not gonna like toot my own horn, but maybe I'm a bit clever for like going full healing synergy with it when I do. You know, like getting the overhealing, getting the extra health so the healing is bigger and I have more health to store, you know, shit like that. Um, why am I going that way? <laughs> um, but yeah, the... You know, like, it's part of the game and, it's, and it also just kind of boils down to something I've mentioned before in these videos. Ooh, great B chaos. Um, just the whole fact that, like, why balance a single player game that functions fine, even if it has a broken element to it. I mean, unless you really didn't want the game to do that. I can respect that. It's your game, you know, Tasty Studios, or whatever game is being patched. It's a single-player game that, um, you know, is being patched for the sake of being patched. So, so many crits <laughs> that are completely pointless. <laughs> I was going to break when it uh, hit the ground there. I was a little confused. I'm very confused. Why are those chests floating in midair like that? Ow. Floating in midair like that. <laughs> Get rid of all these friggers. Got some mana issues with this build. I really still, I still have to make a spell that works with the soul contract on the robe. Well, not a spell, but like a setup. Because I really like the idea of having the insanely high mana gain when you're basically on death's door. I mean, pocket tombstone, right away. That works wonders with it. So that you can have the, um, you know... Like, do that like, like a high-risk, high-reward build I was doing before with, like, the clock... With the, um, sundial on the rope as well, right? Uh, I mean, that'd probably be something you put on it anyway for... Just so you don't... Just so when you do get to low life and start triggering everything, you have this cool period of everything is slow except for me, which is, you know, always nice. I've never seen that big old ladder there before for, like, just no reason. Definitely need some room to do a... Essence of Monday spell. Ah, he... Snowball hit the freaking spell before it was ready. It's kind of weird how that works. I guess it just... I guess it just goes for, um... Oh, man. This, this... I guess this is one reason why they're not... They're probably not gonna fix... You know, fix... The Chaos Butterfly, uh... uh Chaos Butterfly Curse uh, Essence of Monday synergy. Because it's a little tricky to use. It's actually not, like, immediate game-breakingly awesome. It's cool, and it definitely makes the Chaos Butterfly way more usable. And like way less uh, uh, finicky, but it's not. In, it's not like it's not an I win button. Let's put it that way.
but like I'm like I'm not gonna go into the whole rant again, but just to sum it up, if a single player game needs to be fixed, fix it. But if it's just if it's doing something you didn't expect but people enjoy it, let it do its thing. What the hell is going on with that sword? <laughs> what the hell? There's like an invisible platform there or something. Or a visible one that's very tiny. Uh, I'm very confused. I am very confused. I, I think that might be the name of the episode. I am very confused. Because <laughs> this has happened a few times. With this whole scenario. Oh, oh right. I gotta find those, don't I? Oh, shite. I, w uh, I wasn't paying attention. Uh... I was just shooting the breeze while playing Magic Maker. Uh, which is fine. You know. It's kind of, like I said, like really early in the series, or might not have been this series, might have just been a series. But, um, I kind of like the idea of a Let's Play just being the equivalent of you guys sitting on the couch with me. Or, well, hanging out in my room, I guess, at this point. I don't have a couch. <laughs> but, um, you know, you guys, the equivalent of you guys hanging out on the couch with me and us just having a grand old chat while I play a video game, right? Now, obviously, if you were actually here with me, I'd offer a turn, but, you know, kind of can't do that over the internet. Not yet, anyway. Oh. Diesel got the power crystal. That's fine. Uh, I gotta remember where those... Well, I mean, they're not in set locations, but I gotta... Start looking for them actively now. Well, there's probably one down there. So I've only so I've only got those crystals to find. I already have the. I already got these gems. So many crystals and gems. Just a day in the life of a wizard. Do I not have double? Okay, I was wondering if I didn't have double jumps there for a second, but I do. Game wasn't restoring them for some reason on the uh, ladder. So the stopwatch, it's kind of hard to tell if it's actually even doing anything. Because it's, you know, it's something as subtle as altering your your invincibility frames. And that's that's pretty, like, high-level, uh, you know, like, high-level theory-crafty, video game -y type stuff. But, um, I haven't noticed my life go very low. So it's, even though I've been kind of reckless and stupid, um... <laughs> So, you know, I'm probably... I probably have it to thank for at least some damage prevented. Oh, this, is, this game would actually be... Not that this game isn't cool, but I think it would be really cool if... Uh, this game had like a... Had like a Warframe type... Uh, you know, here's how you did at the end of the level thing. Like, how much damage you dealt, how much damage you took, how much you healed... How many things you killed, stuff like that. And, um... One of the things it would do is like... How much did this artifact do something, right? So, like for the the, the stopwatch is like how much damage it prevented, you know, so stuff like that. I think it'd be cool. I think it would be cool. I also think I'm kind of jonesing for some more game variety in my life because I've, uh, <laughs> you know, no internet. I can't I can't play any like the free play MMOs I like to play. I can't play like any team shooter or anything like that. Oh, it's starting to get to me a little bit, but that's fine. Just means more content for you guys when I do get back. Hopefully sooner than later, though. I mean, by the time you hear this, I'll be back. But, you know. At the moment, to me, it's not. Ugh, I might have to just let the timer run out on this episode and just keep looking for the crystals anyway. Because, uh, not, I don't think I'm finding them in four minutes. Especially since I wasn't looking for them for the whole episode. And I've kind of forgotten about looking for them. <laughs> Although that looks like one. That looks like one. Are you one? No, you're not. Bugger. Um. Oh, they're, bo <laughs> they're both right here. Oh, I went through the whole bloody level again and I didn't even need to. Oh, well. What can you do? Okay, now, how the heck does this build do against a boss? <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, man. Okay, so it's always an obscenity. It's just a different prefix. Okay. Because I, I was... I've, I go back through my episodes sometimes, just to reacquaint myself with what's happened. And, um... 
yeah, I was like, I was bitching that it's like, oh, it's the obscenity again. But it's like always the obscenity. <laughs> it's just the something obscenity. Like all those bits are different, I'm noticing. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh, jeez, did he did it ever. Okay, so kind of want to fire it like up. Oh, I got clipped on the hand. Damn it. Oh, gee, chopped him up a bit on the edge anyway. That's good. I suppose I could fire a couple of them. There you go. Ah! Where am I? Oh. <laughs> I thought I was caught in the ice, like, over here for a second. I was like, what the... Ew, what the hell are these? Larvae. Blech. Get, get away from me. There we go. Ugh. Again, this is a this fight really rewards having like a room cleary spell, like l just a big laser beam or whatever. Ugh. So um, <laughs> I don't know all the mechanics because I've kind of steamrolled through it a lot of the time. It's amazing what you find with a game when you don't actually do that, you know. You get like a you really do get a different experience, and it's very neat that way. The sundial, great the sundial. Bam! The robe has an additional slot. Uh, I believe spell additional slot is from the temple, which is going to kind of blow a little bit, but that's fine. I might do the... I might set up the next build off camera so we don't burn as much time with me tinkering. I mean, I'll show some cool results if I find anything, but, you know, just some of the blind testing I'll probably start keeping out of the videos. You know, since I'm trying to keep them succinct now. Dang. We won't get the set bonus. Also, Azazel has a crazy powerful magic crystal now. Oops. <laughs> These people are so freaking casual about this world-ending attack catastrophe that's basically happening around them. Uh, oh, well. Anyway, so, me and the little Hugh Hefner demon here. Uh, we'll catch you guys another time, another episode, and hopefully we will get our finally get our fifth slot for our spells, and then we can start doing some really cool shit. But until then, ciao. Oop, that's my timer. Right on the ball.